Welcome back to my channel. My name is Bailey Kramer and I'm a real estate investor, entrepreneur, and Airbnb co-host. At the time of recording this, I co-host 30 Airbnb properties across five different states. In today's video, I'm gonna show you three different strategies that you can use to get clients for your Airbnb co-hosting business. These are all strategies that I've personally used to get co-hosting clients, or that my students have used to successfully get co-hosting clients. And make sure you stay until the end because the third strategy is my personal favorite and I'm gonna be throwing in two bonuses for you guys. Before I share the three strategies, I wanna share a simple concept that'll make this click a lot easier for you. There's a saying that people do business with people that they know, like, and trust but no one can like or trust you if they don't even know you. So the basis of these three strategies is to get people to know you and understand what you actually do. The first strategy is to get clients from your inner circle, which is your friends, family, and coworkers. Now before you say, Bailey, I don't have any rich people in my inner circle who's gonna need my co-hosting service, let's take a step back. The goal here is to start a discussion and plant a seed in their mind by letting them know what you do because maybe they don't personally have a property that they wanna put on Airbnb, but maybe they know somebody who does. Or maybe they have a friend who already has an Airbnb and they're actually looking for a co-host. The possibilities are literally endless, but you need to take that first step by letting your inner circle know what you are doing. The second strategy to getting clients is by calling long-term rental landlords. The whole goal is to search for properties for rent on sites like Trulia, call the landlord and ask them if they'd be open to renting their property as a short-term rental instead of a long-term rental. I like this strategy for a handful of reasons. First off, you already know that they're interested in renting out their property. You just need to show them why short-term rentals are better than long-term rentals. Number two, there are a ton of properties for rent. And in some cities, there's literally hundreds of houses that landlords have for rent. And you don't think at least one person would be interested in turning their long-term rental into a short-term rental? The third reason why I like this strategy is because a lot of landlords decide to self-manage their own properties. And they do this to usually save money, but it costs them their time. So if you can show them how you can help them make more money through short-term rentals, and you can take care of all the day-to-day -day operations of it, giving them all their time back, they might be interested. The third strategy and my absolute favorite strategy is from referrals. I love this strategy because the leads come to me. And I know you might be thinking, Bailey, how do I get referrals if I don't have any experience? And the answer is simple. People do business with people that they know, like, and trust. Also refer other people that they know, like, and trust. Co-hosting, just like any other business, is a relationship-based business. When someone in your inner circle hears the word Airbnb, you want them to think about you. That way when someone in their network mentions the word Airbnb, they send them directly to you. Trust me, I've seen this play out successfully time and time again. And of course, once you already have an Airbnb, getting referrals becomes a lot easier because of course you have a track record. Now that I've shared three strategies that I highly recommend you use to getting co-hosting clients, I'm gonna now share with you two strategies that you should not use to get co-hosting clients. The first strategy that you should not do is spam people in Facebook groups. Way too often I see people in Facebook groups write, I'm looking for a co-host in Florida. And then all of a sudden, a hundred random people come out of nowhere and start commenting why they're the best person for the job, even though they live in Arkansas or Oregon or some random place. This is a strategy that is a complete waste of time because it is nearly impossible to stand out in a sea of hundreds of comments. The second strategy that you should not do is message people directly through Airbnb. The last thing that Airbnb wants people to do is take communication off of their platform. So by you trying to be all slick and message a bunch of people on Airbnb trying to get them off platform so you can talk to them, you're running the risk of getting your account suspended and potentially banned. Airbnb lays out their policies very clearly and this clearly goes against their policies. So there you have it. Those are three strategies that I highly recommend you use to help get your first or next co-hosting client and also two bonus strategies that you should not use. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. And if you have questions about Airbnb, let me know by putting them in the comments below. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Peace.